There was a series of uh, missile strikes uh, here in Kyiv. Uh, I was uh, hiding together with my family in the corridor here in explosions and the doors and the windows were shaking because of the explosions and I live quite far away from the uh, place of attack. And then uh, the security experts in Ukraine and both international experts, they confirmed that the uh, missile that uh, was used, the Russian missile that was used, this is a Russian missile. And it's completely different from missile that, for example, uh, U.S. supplied Patriot systems uh, in Ukraine use. And uh, this was an elaborate attack because Russia was using multiple missiles to uh, bypass Ukrainian air defense. They were uh, maneuvering across the country from one region to another when at some point uh, they were able to hit uh, the targets inside Kyiv. And unfortunately, one of these targets became uh, main Ukrainian children's hospital. And this was the outrage here in Kyiv and people were gathering immediately around the hospital to uh, help uh, each other to um, go through the rubble because there was a uh, sense that possibly people could be uh, under the rubble. They were bringing water, food and everything to clear up and find if anyone was trapped. And of course, these awful images of cancer children uh, that were evacuated from the hospital because it was immediately without uh, electricity, water and uh, all the supplies that was needed. Yeah. You know, into the third year now of this conflict, how disingenuous do you feel it is of Russia at this particular moment to launch this kind of attack? Does it feel as if that this is becoming a very protracted and difficult conflict um, for there to be any form of resolution? Well, you know, uh, I think that actually they have picked up specifically this moment and they were striking during the daytime just ahead of the NATO summit to show that Russia is not afraid. They are they're basically threatening NATO countries, showing them, look, what we can do and what we can do that not only in Ukraine. Uh, so basically Russia wants to show the, the world and the Western countries that they sanctions and whatever measures have been taken don't stop Russia from their strategy. And this is why the response should be much stronger. We do not need the concerns, we need the actions. And this is what Ukraine is asking for to the countries of the West to take concrete actions to show Russia that their impunity has to end, that they cannot uh, longer uh, destroy uh, facilities, uh, health facilities in Ukraine, destroy Ukrainian infrastructure, schools, and, and so on. So, Maria, you know, as the 75th anniversary summit of NATO takes place in, in the U.S., what materially do you think would make the difference to Ukraine? Well, Ukraine needs several very important things we actually lack to get at the moment. Uh, so everyone here understands that a membership in NATO is not the nearest future. People here and soldiers in Ukraine, they make it clear. So Ukrainians are ready to fight with Russia by themselves, but they need support. And this support basically is the first and most important at the moment uh, the permission to hit military targets deeper into Russian territory, because those planes that have launched these missiles towards uh, Ukrainian cities and towards hospital, uh, they were uh, actually taken off from Russia. So if Ukraine would have a possibility to hit these uh, uh, fighter jets when they were preparing for the attack, this will uh, save all those uh, people that were killed. Then Ukraine needs more air defense because this is obviously not enough that Ukraine has got at the moment because Russia is trying to bypass it uh, and overwhelm it all the time. And then second, Ukraine needs constant uh, military support in terms of shells and uh, more weapons. I've been recently to one of the uh, units near the front lines and soldiers tell me that sometimes they see clearly see with the uh, reconnaissance drones uh, targets 
uh, that they could possibly destroy military targets, uh, Russian uh, weapons, but they have nothing uh, to fire with. Uh, and this is the big problem and remains a problem. And Ukraine needs to know that we will have the constant flow of weapons uh, to stop this uh, Russian aggression because even if we stop now and say, like Putin in his dream says that this is a ceasefire, Russia will never stop. Russia is attacking Ukraine since 2014. And what will make anyone believe that they will make any change and change their strategy when they even uh, become more aggressive and attack more aggressively? Yeah. So how much concern is there about the leadership of Joe Biden? Um, we can see that his campaign is in trouble. And then the possibility of a NATO unfriendly Trump back in the White House. Well, Ukrainian officials say that they will uh, try to find a common language with any U.S. president. And Ukraine was always proud to have a bipartisan support uh, in the uh, United States uh, Congress. So the hope here is that uh, still United States see Russia as their enemy, and Russia says it openly. So to stop Russia, uh, the uh, Western countries will continue Ukrainian support, and this also means making NATO stronger, because Putin only uh, believes one hand when he sees power. Uh, otherwise, he starts his uh, uh, attacking an aggressive policy, what we have seen. So the weak NATO will provoke Putin to attack, not the strong NATO. So this makes me believe that this will be a real reason uh, at the NATO summit and then afterwards uh, in the um, upcoming months to rethink uh, the policy and make strong decisions that will uh, enable uh, to stop Putin. Yeah. Maria, I appreciate your time as always and please stay safe. Um, very uh, difficult time for your country at the moment. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.